All right, here we go. We got episode 23 playing against the Central Michigan Chippewas. That's really hard to say. <laughs> I want to know what their mascot is. Like, because most most teams, like they have their mascot in their logo, or whatever. There's just a C. I don't. I want to know what a Chippewa actually is. Um, being from from down south, we have some crazy names also, but I have no idea what a Chippewa is. <laughs> just sounds sounds odd to me. But hey. If it's something you're used to, something you're used to is just odd to me. I don't, I don't know what it is. So, there we go. So, I, I win the kick or the the coin toss, pick the kick it. I started doing that a lot more just because I want my defense has been doing amazing. So, and of course Tennessee whoops the crap out of Mid Tennessee State or Cincinnati. <laughs> Cincinnati beats the crap out of Mid Tennessee State like 53 to nothing, 59 to nothing. That was a domination right there. <laughs> Golly. But back on, or back on, starting out on defense here. My defense uh, gave up a lot of points last game, and they're coming out ready to play. Already got a tackle for a loss right there on a the little option play. They didn't stand a chance. I gave up. It was a close game last week. Hopefully, it's not this way this week. That was, uh, that was rather entertaining. <laughs> Had a couple of what I thought were breakaway moments, and it didn't, it didn't break away all that well. They, they were just throwing the ball all over me and driving in the field, which happens every now and then like trying to run the ball yeah how come that never happens when i do in the no huddle they just look to the sideline and my guys are like what i can't hear the play do it all day i throw it and i'll oh, just pick the ball off dude is that lopez again lopez you picked sixth it last week what the heck are you doing this week knocking it down nobody was even around you dude it's bull crap but defense stepped up first first drive and forcing the punt fourth and 14. So I get the ball back, buy the ball back, the ball for offense finally. I decided to return it and actually get somewhat decent return. <laughs> uh, like 14 yards, 11 yards, somewhere around there. Nothing nothing too drastic, just enough to get going. And uh, and uh, Matthews is still hurt. He was hurt for five weeks during that last game. So Harper is the go-to guy right now, and he'll be playing a lot. <laughs> He would be getting the ball a lot. That dude, that dude is a beast, man. In uh, Matthew's absence, so I think I'm just gonna stick with that. I might try to mix it up a little bit, just cause I'm not used to running a whole lot with Harper. Um, I might try to throw the ball a little bit. It's just worked out pretty good. I think last game I had like 250 yards passing, if not more than that. And my guys don't block for crap. <laughs> Seriously, I saw that safety coming up, and I thought the fullback was gonna block him, but. He didn't, and he didn't block the guy that tackled me either, even though he ran right at him, so it's ridiculous. As much as I, I like to run the ball, I think I'm going to get more of a run block, um, run block or balanced uh, line or fullback or something like that. And Texas on top of Oklahoma, they're doing that Red River shootout, so they're up 17-14 right now. That would be, that'd be huge if Oklahoma lost. Texas not so much, that wouldn't really change up the rankings, but Oklahoma just because... Uh, I'm ranked number 14 right now. If you guys didn't see that, heck yeah. Moving on up in the rankings, trying to get in the top 10 before the end of the season. And we're in, like, what, game three of conference play? So there's still a lot of a lot of room to go. <laughs> we're on week seven. So so we got, I think, 14 weeks plus the conference championship to, to move on up. We got, oh, come on, come on, Jefferson. Jefferson making some moves, getting most of his playing time. Usually he gets tackled for a loss or something like that, but... Gets a couple of good blocks, jukes that that corner out of his shoes, and then gets tackled. So uh, maybe maybe we got something there. But Harper is is a junior, so he will be back next year unless he decides to leave. Um, not that any of my guys will ever go pro, <laughs> at least not the way that I see it. But you never know; it's a possibility. Maybe when they have fantastic years like Wade did last year, maybe if he had had that as a junior, he he might have gone pro. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And, ooh, I actually got a block there. Go, Jefferson. Go, 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 go. Dang. My fullback actually blocked there. That was surprising. Usually I get tackled. It was, like, perfect blocking all the way down. My guys just aren't fast enough. I got, like, the, the bruiser running backs because they, they break a little bit more tackles. And get another good set of blocks and almost get in. Almost get in. Uh, this, that's three this quarter, man. Golly. Ooh, Texas just scored a touchdown. They're up 20-17. 20 20-17. to 20-14. So they're up by six. They they <laughs> if Oklahoma scores, they lose that game. 
or I think it was still in the third quarter, so maybe not. And running up the middle, touchdown. I think that was the easiest I've had on a goal line situation. <laughs> Usually it takes me like three tries and then I have to kick a field goal. That's what happened in my online dynasty. Um, I did that like three times, and it was against a crap team too. And I just couldn't get in, man. I tried running outside, tried running up the middle, and my guys just wouldn't block. So I don't know what the deal is, but uh, that's, uh, that's bull crap. <laughs> it actually worked there for me, though. And this is one of the first times they actually get a return the kick, and they actually got pretty good. It was looking kind of scary there for a minute. There was a huge hole, and that guy came off. But there's like a 13 mile an hour wind blowing, <laughs> so it's uh, it's hard to kick it into the end zone when you're kicking into a 13 mile an hour wind. And I'm gonna go with a uh, what's this dime, yeah dime package. And oh, well, I thought I got to him and pick it off. Oh yeah, picked it. Go 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 Lopez. There you go. How in the world did he pick that? <laughs> I thought he just knocked it, knocked it down, but he like shoestring picked it. That was awesome. I did that in a me and my buddy were playing an online game, and I did that like twice. And I don't know how that is or what happens, but I, I take it. <laughs> I take it. I don't like it when it happens to me. That's for sure. It's like in, in the old school games. Me and my brother would play all the time. And I think I mentioned this before. He had a corner. His name was McRae. He had, uh, I think it was Georgia, and he would pick it off one-handed and stuff like that. Like he would go, for most people, he, they would swat it. That animation, it would stick to his hand, and he would pick it. And that pissed me off. <laughs> so frustrating. And I guess that's kind of what, what that's like whenever they uh, shoestring catch the pick right there. I thought that was going to be on the ground. But I'm not going to argue it. The booth didn't try to review it. So whatever. I'll take the pick. Try to get in. Jefferson in. Touchdown. So Harper and Jefferson both have, both have got a touchdown this game on, on the goal line. And we're up 14 and nothing going into the first quarter. Or at the end of the first quarter. So... We're, we're doing pretty good. Defense has forced a punt and a pick right off the bat, so we're doing we're doing a lot better this game <laughs> than we did last game. That's for that's for sure. And speaking of games, next game, uh, next next video, we're gonna start start off with a stat update. It's been it's been enough time to do another stat update video and see what's going on. We'll let you know what's going on with uh, with Matthews and. Uh, probably won't have anybody up for the Heisman. I'm not even going to bother looking at that just because Matthews was probably my closest bet and he got injured. So has no no point in looking. <laughs> if they have the awards and stuff like that, I'll, I'll show that, see if anybody's up for the finalist. Uh, I'll just do the top 10. I don't want to go through the whole list of 20 per, per award just to see if I'm even on there. That seems like a waste of time. But, ooh, a little end around. Didn't work out so well, buddy. <laughs> like I didn't fall for that at all. Is that... That was my defensive tackle. Dang up. Or defensive end. One of the two is one of my linemen. That's kind of surprising. Um, but let's see. Let's see if my defense can keep it up. That would be that would be nice if we can get another turnover right here. I'm bringing the blitz. I haven't got to do this a whole lot. And, oh, both of those guys missed. <laughs> wow, I got lucky there. I haven't been able to do it a whole lot. It's because I'm playing on a harder difficulty. And, uh. I know one of the comments that one of the dudes said it was a, uh, it was not as not as fun to watch because I did it every play, which I'm, and that makes sense. Um, it's kind of kind of repetitive, and that's why I increased the difficulty. I was starting to, to romp people, so I uh, made it a little bit more of a challenge, and it's uh, it's paid off. Uh, Toledo game was actually really close. <laughs> a couple of other games, not so much, but uh, it is still on that difficulty. Just so you all know. I didn't turn it back down or anything like that, but uh, as you can tell, I don't blitz every play. <laughs> I've gotten burned numerous times when I try to blitz. They just dump it over the middle and just make one guy miss and it's over. So um, They're actually driving the ball pretty good right now. They're getting close to the end zone here. Got to try to keep them out. That's, uh, that's the goal, third and nine. Now I'm going with a cover one, and they didn't get it. So fourth, fourth and nine. That's to kick the field goal, and that's what I'll settle for. Three points is a lot better than than seven. So if we can give them no points, that'd be ideal. But <laughs> didn't work out so well. And I tried to go for a screen, didn't work out. And then I tried to throw across the middle, hit the dude in the hands, didn't work out. So I'm gonna try to throw it again. I don't know why I'm throwing the ball when I should be running. Running is what's working for me. I don't know why I mix up. <laughs> why do I change the what's working? But uh, 
I like to do it every now and then, especially on first down, especially because uh, the computer will quote unquote learn how you play. So if you run a lot on first down, they're going to start blitzing and adjusting their defense appropriately. So um, that guy was wide open that time. Dang, yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I want. Those little pass plays that actually work and the guy gets open. I just have to have a line that'll block for me. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I'm third and goal. And I still can't get in. I'm on the goal line. I'm like five yards away. So I go for the pass. Doesn't do anything. Should have thought about that. So I'd still for a field goal. Should have got six, but Doug Reamer's happy. I'm happy. So kick it, kick it again, kick it out of the end zone that time. Golly. Let's booted that ball. And get to the quarterback for the sack there. You're rushing only four guys. So I don't really have to blitz a whole lot um, against this team. Apparently, I can do it with my four guys. They'll get the job done. And they're just trying to milk the clock here. Studio update. Texas is whooping the crap at Oklahoma now. Golly. 41-28. And that should that should end the second quarter. So going into the half, we're up 17-3. Um, to So we, we got a two-touchdown lead. And we get the ball back. So as long as we score here, uh, keep the separation going and pretty much seal the deal. Go with a little pass play to mix it up right off the bat. And hit Harper for a pass play. And he's... That's something about Harper that um, I wish he had a little bit better hands whenever I throw the ball because I know I could throw it to Matthews and a lot of the time he would be like the fifth wide receiver and I would throw it to him and he'd catch it no problem. And I threw it to him and it just like hit his head. It, it hit him in the end zone wide open. I was so mad, man. That's happened to me numerous times, <laughs> actually. It's like I throw it to the guys wide open and he just lets it hit him in the face. <laughs> It's frustrating, and I thought he broke it there, but luckily uh, it might have been Lopez or somebody else made the tackle to keep him from scoring. And they're actually running the ball pretty good on me. That's the quarterback scramble right there, a little draw play. That's the only thing, that's the thing about whenever you go into like a cover two man, um, you have a, a lot less to, to put pressure on the quarterback, so. So it's a... Uh, Studio update, and Texas gets to win, 41-28. Take that, Oklahoma. <laughs> That's a big rivalry for, for us Texas fans, so screw you, Oklahoma. <laughs> I know uh, one of, one of my, my good friends, uh, him and his wife, we went to we all went to high school together, and they moved to Oklahoma, so they're big Oklahoma fans. And, uh, like, I'm not a big college football fan, but I root for, for the Northern Illinois Huskies, even though I'm not from Illinois, never have been. I've never even been to Illinois. <laughs> But I, I like them, and I root for Texas. So those uh, those are the teams that I root for. So as long as it's as, as long as Oklahoma gets beat, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm not like a diehard go to every game, watch every game on TV type person because uh, I don't have that kind of money for one, and for two, I don't have TV in my apartment because I would never sleep. <laughs> I have a hard time, hard enough time going to sleep now. I got video games, I got Netflix, I got Hulu. I don't really need TV. Uh, I don't. I don't need to stay up all night, especially I just just went back to college um, to finish that up, and that would have been really hard to do, staying up as late as I was anyways. I was staying up to like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning as it was, just so I could play video games and get homework done. <laughs> so I was staying up late enough and and not getting enough sleep then, so um, I, didn't, I decided not to get TV in my apartment. So. That's uh, so I don't watch it. I'll I'll see the highlights and stuff on on the Xbox. Ooh, picked it. Go, go, Flynn. Go, Flynn. Go, Flynn. Go, Flynn. Ah, dang it. Like yeah, that's my second pick of the game. Yeah. <laughs> We're at twenty to three. I had to sell for another field goal a while ago. That's a little heartbreaking when my offense can't score touchdowns and I can't move the ball enough in to get seven points. But as long as my kicker can drain a field goal, I'm happy. And I think I catch him jumping a. Uh, Offsides there, throw it to my tight end, Leonard, and he gets the first down, first and goal. And if it is, yeah, yeah, offsides on defense, decline that hoe. <laughs> I got my first and goal on the four. So, uh, keep it, keep it moving, and see if I can actually get in the end zone this time. My guys haven't really done much you know, on the goal line, saying I think the first two drives we actually got in, Harper and Jefferson both scored, and then. The past two, I just haven't been able to push that little extra to get in. So I'm going to go with a little pass play here. Mix it up a little bit. See if I can get it in there. And Harper, wide open. Hits him in the hands and he drops it. Wow. <laughs> like I said, that's something I wish he had better than, than Matthews. Better hands. 
because that was easy. He just had to catch it and take two steps. Nobody would have even touched him. But no, and tries to run it and maybe gains a yard if two, maybe. But nothing, nothing. Yeah, two yards, so nothing special. I'm just trying to get in the end zone, man. I'm trying to pad your stats here, Harper. What, what, what's the deal, dude? <laughs> I'm trying to give you touchdowns, and I try to catch them in a little animation, little them uh, audible defense, and I do, so I can touch down finally. <laughs> finally get a catch a break. Harper gets his second touchdown of the game. He's been he's been tearing it up. I'm interested to see what kind of stats he's got. Um, even. Even during the season, because he still wasn't too far behind Matthews on the season. Matthews had a couple of hundred yard, almost two hundred yards game, yards yard games, but still, him and him and Matthews had been close all season. So I'm interested to see how long it takes for Harper to pass Matthews, and uh, if if he'll maintain that if uh, when Matthews comes back. If I think I'm going to let him play, um, just because I know he is injury prone, <laughs> obviously. He gets injured every year, and he was, like, injured for something for at least every game, at least once a game for, like, a quarter or something. And he is a highly injury-prone, but it is his senior year. So I figure I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, <laughs> see if uh, he can actually come in and produce. And, oh, I thought I got to that quarterback. I laid him out, though. Golly. It still says big hit. Yeah, I laid that quarterback out. Um, I think that's something else they don't really call. It's a lot of roughing the passer. Granted, that was right about the time he released the ball, so you wouldn't really call that. But some of the hits I do probably should be rough in the passer, but they don't call that either. And, yeah, their stupid no huddle works just fine. My no huddle doesn't work at all. And go for a big hit. Yeah, yeah, laid him out again. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt, y'all. Heck, yeah. <laughs> Juke that, son. Bam. Get off me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Defense is is stellar man they're stepping up and they're producing they're making big hits they give they give a big play every now and then but almost got to the almost got him to him again and almost picked it again but dropped that one studio update let's see who's who's here now and lsu beats mississippi state by four wow lsu's number 24 didn't they like play for the national title last year or something i don't know they were they were ranked pretty good last year uh, I know the, the honey badger. <laughs> I know he was he was on their team as a corner or something. They called him the honey badger. Um, they throw it deep here and nope. Ooh, he might he might have had a touchdown there. He might have had me, but not quite. So fourth and I think it's 19, and they're gonna go for it. They have to. There's no doubt about it. If they want to keep in this game, they have to go for it. So you go a little five wide action here, and hopefully I can get to him. Before he throws it, and nope, he throws it to the sideline, and almost picked again. Come on, man. I think that was Flynn. You've already picked one. Pick it. <laughs> so I just need to hold on to the ball for three minutes. They still have all their timeouts. I just need to run the ball and take as much time off the clock as possible and get this game over with. And that's a good couple of blocks there. Yes, sir. And I just couldn't beat the safety. <laughs> oh, he's only got 75 yards rushing, seriously? I thought he was doing a lot better than that. I thought he had like 100, 125, so maybe I can get him to 100, at least 100 yards rushing this game. That would be cool. He just needs another 25 yards and got a block. <sighs> Hold on to him just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Gosh, man. I thought I was down the sideline for, for a good game. I don't think I would have scored because that other safety would always seems to catch me. <laughs> I'm with my slow guys, and now Jefferson's in, so... Uh, he gets tackled right about the line, too. They're going to stop blocking all that well now. Um, if he had held him just a little bit longer on the play before, Harper might have busted to 100 yards. But I don't know if he'll get it now. we got about two minutes left. We're in three plays in about a minute. That's not too bad. I'm going to go with a little pass here. Try to see if I can catch him sleeping. And nope. Nope. So I'm going to scramble. 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 First down. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hall's hurt. Um, that's not good. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Dang it, if I lose Hall too, I'm going to be mad, man. That would not be good. Even though King, he's, he did set some records last year with his quarterback ability. So, Harper comes in right after Hall gets hurt. And gets nine yards, almost gets the first down. But not quite a touchdown. Studio update again. And Ohio State's on top of Wisconsin. So, one and two are playing right now. There's no, there's going to be some changes. <laughs> it's guaranteed. Oh, Hall's only hurt for two quarters, so 
That's good. He'll be back next game. He's not going to be able to finish this game. So I'm just going to run the ball, see if I can get Harper some more, more touchdowns. Oh, come on, push him in the end zone. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if I'll get in my uh, 100 yards rushing with him. And that's something that definitely has changed. <laughs> I was getting like 200 yards rushing, and then I bumped it up to All-American, and I'm getting like maybe 100 if I'm lucky. Oh, I thought I had a hole there, and that guy just leveled Jefferson <laughs> like nothing. Like no big deal at all, man. Just get on, get on on the ground. So second and goal. This is what happens to me on the goal line every time. <laughs> I try to run it and I get smashed. I get stopped. They they do it every time. So I guess I need to figure out different plays or something to get in the end zone. And I thought I was in there, but that guy came out of nowhere and got me. But that's we're running up on the end of this game here. We're up at least 20, 27 to three. So I was trying to get another touchdown. Uh, if we can, and juke it back inside. I thought I was in. I thought I was in. But apparently I'm on like the the inch yard line. So I'm going to go with the field goal as time expires just to get my points, keep my red zone rating. Be a perfect three for three, or six for six. Three touchdowns, three field goals. I'm um, trying to get my kicker some action because uh, he's, he's a stud. And five, four, three, two, one. Ball game. I went in 30, 30 to three. <laughs> against the Central Michigan Chippewas, which is about as expected. It's about what I figured it was going to be. Um, player of the game, uh, let's see, I would assume Harper. But you never know with this game. And, yeah, Harper, 94 yards, 6 yards short, 2 touchdowns and 22 receiving yards. Um, you should have had a receiving touchdown, but you dropped it. So, almost 100 yards rushing for Harper and his full start. Not too bad, nothing major. But I think next week we play Ball State, Ball State Cardinals. They beat us last year in a rivalry game. They were one of our two losses. So maybe we can redeem ourselves. <laughs> Toledo already gave us a run for our money, so we just need to whoop Ball State and keep rolling in conference play. That would be that would be huge. The next video is going to be stat update in Ball State, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. But that's going to be it for me this week, fellas, or guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.